Hey guys, Sunlux here, back with our blind playthrough of Subnautica Below Zero. This last time we found the Transformer Cube. Oh, interesting, it tells us, right? Got the cube, got the seed truck. Interesting. Um, now we have an alien inside of us. And not in a good way. Uh... I'm dumb. <laughs> Man, what episode is this today? This is probably like the seventh episode I've recorded today. It's, I'm, you know, I'm going, which is good because this week is going to be miserable. Um, I just hope it's not as bad as the last week. That was a little on the rough side. So we picked up some ion cubes. I don't quite know what we're going to do with those. Um, all right, so we got all of this, the seed code, which is weird. And then we got this stuff. We got all of this. Makes sense. Uh, all right, research, alien data, alien robot. This device is of alien origin, although its design is relatively simple. It's not all the way at the bottom of the threat level. There is some threat because it attacks occasionally. Purpose. Its low threat level is at odds with the advanced technology apparently available to its designers, suggesting it was intended more to patrol alien facilities and repair damaged infrastructure than to deter invaders. Design. Despite its simple design, this construction is quite elegant in its minimalism. For Four electromagnetic legs allow to traverse floors, walls, and ceilings with reasonable speed and appear to be replaceable. Internally, there are a few moving parts, rendering this, con this construct energy efficient and resistant to wear over time. A rechargeable ion-based power reserve ensures it continues to operate. Architect Containment Cube. Um, while advanced human civilization has attempted for centuries to develop successful whole brain emulation techniques, it appears the architect race has built a platform for accomplishing this, accomplishing this holy grail of life extension technology. This is not great because the original architects, precursors, whatever, um, apparently were, were digital anyway, right? They weren't they were, you know, AI, they were like organic AIs or something like that. There was no, yeah, anyway. <clears throat> physically, the, physically, the containment cube appears to be comprised of a redundant array of quantum holographic storage layers supporting a hyperdense capacity of 35 bits per electron. Um, something that I remember the Kara did was it, when it infected them, it actually if I'm remembering right, and I think that I am, it it infect, infected their physical bodies, but also corrupted their code, so to speak. Um, whereas, you know, humans and normal animals, it just kills them. Uh, you know, there it corrupts their actual soul, which is why there's like grave markers and stuff, uh, because they are, it it straight up destroys them it it affects them on both a uh, their yeah well they said it themselves there's no they don't see a difference between organic and cybernetic components and so they're you know they lose the ability to transfer themselves Anyway, the energy field that feeds a suspended animated cube also serves to power the operating software, allowing the intelligence in storage to maintain consciousness throughout the storage period. Once a stored consciousness has been transferred out of the cube, the component parts will become inert. Without witnessing and carefully observing the backup process, it is difficult to ascertain how the transfer works and whether or not the process is truly lossless. That's a great question. All right, architect storage media. While we have while we have evolved beyond physical attachment, is it is traditional to navigate spacetime in conjunction with mobile biomechanical storage media, altered and evolved over time to serve the inhabitants' needs. While it is possible to transfer between media at will, there's some comfort and prestige in improving a body over time. 
We have settled on a popular format for these media, although there are exceptions. It is a heavily modified version of our pre-civilized bodies. It provides good mobility, easy adaptation, and is easy to fix. It's probably going to be like a prawn suit. In case of disaster, we can back up our data patterns to a sanctuary site for later retrieval. Storage in this fashion is safe, provide a consistent power supply. However, unique perspectives and traits which arose from the interplay with the original medium are lost. It is like a factory reset. It is recommended individuals be restored to a compatible, compatible medium as soon as possible. Such hollow vessels may be fast grown from seed using specialized blueprints and materials. While it is technically possible for an individual to copy their data in order to duplicate themselves ad infinitum, such behavior is considered beyond rude, and any self-respecting architect will resolve such a circumstance by immediately deleting themselves. Fair enough. Um, yeah, we want to read more of those indigenous life forms here in a second. Let's go get some food first. Might be a good idea to make some of those... Uh, mushrooms right because in fact let's go get some let's go get a couple wait hey what happens if I take the titanium from you can I take it hey buddy can I give you food or something um Oh, what's up, you? Here, grab this bladder fish. Do you want it? I don't want to just release it if you're not going to take it. All right, well, whatever. Interesting. Very interesting. Also interesting is the fact that it freaked out when I threw the flare at it. All right, so yeah, map, we want, we want to find one of those, um, yeah, the, there's the mushrooms. We'll grab a couple things. I don't know, I don't know if they'll, when I plant them. Oh, interesting. Gave me four just for that. So we'll try planting it. It might... I don't know if they'll take up one spot. If they do, that would be... That would be fine. Uh, yeah, okay. Well... Interesting that it just picked up titanium, right? Well. Yeah, why not? So it should be across. I mean, I can't, I can't take them out, so they must be growing. I guess maybe we'll see in a minute. Maybe it's just really, they're probably like really small. Welcome aboard, Captain. The gift of the sea monkey. Yeah. The sea monkeys have changed their tune. If only I could let them know what I need. Maybe they could bring me something useful next time. I wonder why, were they attacking me or something before? I think I've just basically tried to avoid them. I've scanned a bunch of their nests. All right, crescent moon coral. The crescent moon coral prefers to grow vertically similar to a vine. The branching filaments connecting the crescent to the red stem contain tiny flagellum that pull in various microorganisms for nourishment. Fallen lily pad. Eventually mature lily pads die while the large leaf allows for an effective area 
for photosynthesis. That's not correct grammar, whatever. There are limited nutrients stored in the earth entangled in the floating root system. When the mature lily pad runs out of nutrients, it will begin to wither and fall back to the seabed, which begins the cycle anew. The fallen lily pad provides nutrients for young seedlings to grow and provides temporary nutrients for other flora and fauna. That's nice. Frost anemone. Yeah, we should be able to check under there now, now that we have, um, you know, the, the sea glide. Well, and the other thing. Um, but I'm going to follow the story because it seems like we get... Unless we pick up uh, more Altera emergency caches just by going near them. Uh, the frost anemone grows on the underside of ice flows and icebergs. The anemone's tendrils are covered in thin, stinging hairs that paralyze small fish and plankton that are broken down for nutrients. These tendrils should be trimmed to effectively harvest the edible heart. Assessment carefully harvest for high nutritional value. Interesting. Kelp root. Contrary to its name, the visible aspect of the kelp root is a thick, twisted stem. The root system anchors deep into the rocky walls of the cave. Some kelp roots grow a pustule along that stem, which are formed by the plant slowly ejecting out toxic materials that are absorbed by the extensive root system. Assessment harvestable for resources used in fabrication. Right. It's probably like the gasopods. We're going to use torpedoes or something like that. Uh, Luna plant. Luna plant glow grows in shallow water. Branches grow off the main stem and create irregular rudimentary chambers. If one branch dies or is destroyed, the other branch's chambers will utilize the nutrients left behind. Eventually, a new chamber will grow in the empty space. Cool. Mature lily pad. Once the rising lily pad breaches the surface, its sealed fan slowly releases, causing the leaf to unfurl into a large flat circle that floats atop the surface of the water. Despite its size, the mature lily pad is able to float due to its surface tension. Due to surface tension. Uh, oxygen plant produces a harvestable reserve of oxygen in its bioluminescent floating bulb. It is hypothesized that this attracts territorial air-breathing fauna, forming a symbiotic relationship that protects the plant from herbi herbivorous fish. Assessment underwater source of breathable oxygen, useful in free diving scenarios. So I guess the chuck shark are, uh, they breathe air? Interesting, if that's the case. All right, so we need water and we need food. We have a peeper. I don't know why the side of my nose itches so much, but it does. I wonder if I can give them food or drop food or something like that. Oh, there they are. I was hoping they'd be across, but that's fine. We'll, we'll take it. Um, yes. Growing bullseye shroom, indeed. All right, uh, now we have a couple options. We could dive, we could go down. I don't know if I really want to do that. Hang on a second. Didn't it give us, like, a list of stuff? Um... It said it gave us a list. Maybe we... I don't know. Weird. Um... Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. No problem. Uh, so, Omega Station, I guess, is where we're going. This, whatever this is, I don't know what the deal is, but maybe we should check it out. It's right next to the dock. Do we want to take this? I mean, yes, we want to take the sea truck, because I'd like to go down here and find Maida. That's the goal. That is the goal. We need water also, so let's see if we can find some... Bladderfish. Some bladderfish. If we can get like three. 
Um, where where do I need to go for that? Probably towards this. And then we'll come back here, replace the battery. Let's um let's actually get as many as we can. That's five, four. I wish I could do something with the sea monkey, like give them, maybe I can give them food, right? Let's, let's check. Okay, maps, logs, research. On a sea monkey. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Two finger like appendages. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Investigate with caution. Maybe I could give just drop some cooked food near them. Let's try it. Grab a peeper. All right, let's head to ham base alpha. <coughs> the weird thing about that sea monkey, right, was sea monkeys aren't normally around here. It had to come here from wherever it was. So we'll grab, do we want a salt one? Like, I don't know if it would appreciate a rotted thing. Would it take a salted one? I think yes. I, you know, if we're going to op offer it one, let's offer it... Let's offer it a cured peeper, okay? Must like those eggs. Alright, so. Cured peeper. Boom. Then water. We'll just do it until we run out. That's fine. We have the emergency air bladder thing. Let's find these sea monkeys. Probably near the kelp forest. There's one. Here, uh, let me... Oh, hey. I can't bind this stuff. Well, thank you. Here. There you go. Grab that. Is it going for it? Maybe. It's going down. Okay, well, let's... Well, thanks, buddy. Can I... Well, here. Let's find your little cave. Maybe we'll find a nest. We'll drop the peeper into the nest. I don't know if that's actually going to do anything. It might do nothing. Is this where... Is there a nest down here, do you think? Oh, let's go to the surface first. Okay, there's a sea monkey. Maybe this is not where we want to go because of the pustules and stuff. Um, but then, you know, there's crash fish in here, right? 
There is a sea monkey nest. Okay. Well, let's, um... Offer some tribute or whatever. There you go. Watch out for the crash fish. Maybe, maybe they won't do anything. Maybe it'll disappear. Maybe they'll be like, what is, what is this? Why is this, why is this land monkey dropping his garbage into our nest? Who knows? Was that a... I thought I saw a little scan thing here, but maybe not. See, that's really nice. It's like a little red glow. You know, are these finished growing? Okay, well... Oh no, I didn't, I didn't want to drop it, no. There we go. Planted a new one. That's not bad. I mean, it gives you. Welcome aboard, Captain. Gives you a fair amount of food, actually. All right, there we go. We have a, a block. We have a first aid kit. I mean, we're kind of full on stuff. Let's just dump this into the into this locker that we've got. Do we have more titanium? No, we don't have enough. Let's let's just throw the ion cubes in there. We have the light stick, which I don't know what we're going to need that for, but we're going to head to the Maida area. And then, uh, uh, where's the light stick? Weird. Okay, there. What kind of makes me sad a little bit is it, it feels like exploring does less than um, just kind of following the story. How do I get in it? I have to go to the back? Um... Access upgrades. Power cell. Okay. Oh, you literally have to go through the top. You can't just click on it anywhere. Interesting. Cool. Well. Neat. Hopefully they won't attack me. And just like... It feels... It, it feels slower. Oh, don't hit me, don't hit me. It does feel slower than the Sea Glide, which is weird, but I don't... I don't think it actually is. It just feels slower. What was that? Did I hit something? Do I want to try... going down here? No, probably not. I say probably not because there was like that thermal vent and or was this the one? No. There was that one thermal vent where it was like special equipment is needed for this. And I'm like, okay, that means we need a hot suit or, or something. Or probably the prawn. Because that's when they talk about special equipment. That's what they mean. Special equipment is needed for this resource. That means the prawn. Alright. This thing, the Mercury. Mercury 2. Um, I could go to that terrifying area, which... Lithium. Got it. Uh, sulfur. Do I need sulfur for anything? Let's 
go down a little bit. Our max depth is 150, so we can't go too far down, but we'll be able to park somewhere. Don't come at me. It'd be nice if we could search, you know, like what, what do you need crystalline sulfur for? I mean, oh, flares, of course, and repair tool. Um, laser cutter, but we don't have diamonds. Not yet. That's maybe it. Right, because we're just getting to the point, oh, we... Do we know how to make enamel glass? I don't think we do. Yeah, we do. Glass, lead, and diamond. Well, no diamonds yet. Oh, and I don't know if we can make a modification station yet. That's all basically titanium and glass. I'm a little disappointed with the coffee maker, to be fair. Architect components. Oh, I see. Architect tissues, skeleton, and organs. Huh. Neat. All right, well. Oh, let's, uh, let's drink some water. Right. There's more things to scan in this area, like that thing. What is that thing? I don't know. Also, what is this? Oh, you. Are you coming at me again? Oh, hey. Hey, buddy. Are you the one? Yeah, you were making that noise, weren't you? Can I throw a flare at you? Squid shark. Ah, uh, circle strafe. Oh, no, 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 How about no? How about no? No, no, no. Yep, you are a dick. I do not like you. Are you coming at me again? Oh, no! I'm clicking the buttons. Clicking the buttons. We're... Time to go. Time to go. And yes. You know what we are going to do? Run away. <laughs> uh, we're going to make sure we get a couple more, uh, you know, med kits. Because those things do a lot of damage. I don't know if I was supposed to click the buttons or not, but I did because if you don't, maybe it just straight up eats you. So now the question is, how do I recharge this thing? This thing's not bad either. This thing is decent. I have determined the location of some important technology. I implore you to investigate. That sounds good. Will this help us build you a body? I do not know what we will find. I just know it is important. Signal location uploaded to PDA. I see the green. Architect artifact. Interesting. And there's Jack. Well, hello, my little cat. Do you, do you need to get in front of me like this? The answer is yes, of course. He always needs to walk in front of the monitor. While you're doing that, while you're being all weird and sassy, and I'm going to grab your face, I'm going to take a drink of my rum. You want to smell it? Yeah. He's not big on alcohol. Mm. <sighs> Takes some getting used to. There's Jack. 
so I wonder if if that's like kind of like the Altera emergency cachet where but you need him you need Alan to uh to detect it or or something or it, you know it's it's probably just like once you get him you know a day after 24 in-game hours he'll be like oh here's this and then you know a week after that he'll be like oh here's this other one it's probably not going to help us build us him body immediately um but it'll probably be tech uh like increased scanner technology or something like that something that lets you interface i i would assume this is just my assumption that well while i'm trying to get jack are you he's drooling he's <laughs> That's how much he's purring. Um, I I would assume that wouldn't... I, I really hope that's not one of the three things that we need. I, you know, it would make more sense to have... Um, like, you know, three things three sites that you go investigate first and that gives you the components you need to access you know it gives you the ingredients that you need to get into those other areas or, or something like that you know not just give you the keys to the kingdom immediately although who knows maybe you need maybe you need more more depth or, or something <sighs> I do love you, Jack. Would you like to lay down? No, you you don't want to? See, you do this because you know that I pet you. But I'm trying to do something right now. I'm trying to do this, Jack. And you're in the way. So I stop petting him so he rubs his head against my hand. Oh, you dick. <laughs> All right, I'm rubbing your belly now. You are a crazy weirdo cat. But I love you. All right, can you listen? What if I pick you up and hug you? Oh, you. Oh, you. All right, can I... Here, can I, like, maybe... Sorry, I whacked the microphone, I know. Look, I'm gonna... Here, let's, let's pick you up. Oh, no! Oh no, Jack, you're getting picked up. You're so good. Oh my gosh, you're now not being held. All right, look, I'm gonna, okay. All right, let's 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 try and do the uh, Hair in my mouth, kitten, because of you. Run away. Oh, I hear it. All right, what I want to do is, you know, this isn't, this is a question, right? Is maybe I could build a power transmitter? You are rubbing your face against the microphone and that is super adorable. Yes, it is. We need All right, I'm gonna grab some kelp. We're gonna turn it into fiber, assuming I have space. Yes, I do. What's up, little buddy? I hope he liked my fish that I gave him. And... I think I have gold. And you're in the way again, except you're... Oh, you. I'm gonna grab your face, and I'm gonna... He's been sleeping all day, so he's been now gathering his energy to annoy me. But I can't be annoyed, because look at how cute he is! Alright. Oh, Jack. You are my little adorable face. I, I can't even see what I'm doing. Oh, I kind of can. All right, let's I'll look at the second monitor. Oh my goodness. I don't know what you're doing, but 
All right, fiber mesh. And <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, hang on. What are, what are we doing now? Okay, let's. Uh, all right, is that first aid kit? Okay, good. How many do I have? I have, I can't tell. I can't see. Looks like one. All right, I need another. I need another, but you're in the way, Jack, and I love you. This is so hard. This is like difficult mode. Try and play a game with a cat walking in front of your, your monitors and rubbing his face against your your hand that's using the mouse. Yep, okay. Alright, Jack, you are the cutie. You are a cutie. Yep. Yes, you are. Oh my goodness, you are so cute. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Just don't step on the keyboard, for the love of God. Welcome aboard. Yep. I'm gonna pick you up, cutie weirdo. Come on. Ah, let's go. Maybe this way. Let's go this way, Jack. I should build a jukebox. I can sit here and listen to tunes. Listen to tunes while Jack is in the way. What do you think about that, Jack, baby? You know, would it say... What it say in the PDA? Um. Oh, hang on. Let's see if we can uh, do this first. Make another first aid kit. Make more water and more food. I assume at some point we're going to get the water purifier. I don't know. Uh, yeah, beacon. Yep, and both are have the little plus. Architect artifact X3J. I just know it's important. All right. Uh, sea monkey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tech. Is it tech? Is it habitat installations? Is it power? Ooh. Huh. Well, I don't know then. Maybe blueprints. Power transmitter. Extends the range of a power source. Golden titanium. I don't know. Let's try Let's try building one on the... Just on the top right here, and we'll park near it, and maybe it'll link up to the... Uh, Oh, I don't have gold. I think I have one, maybe one piece at the, the uh, oh, you're going to lay down. Oh, good. Oh, good. You're so cute. That's why. You're a good kitty. Yes, you are. Let's just unload the battery. Okay. There we go. Uh, yeah, we'll drink some water. Well, yeah, let's read about this. Those things, those are rough. A Leviathan-class predator at the smaller end of the scale with complex squid-like adaptations which allow it to hunt a wide range of prey, expels swallowed seawater through vents on either side of its body, providing slow and steady jet propulsion or a terrifying burst of speed. An internal jaw can be extended and clamped down around small prey, dragging them inside the mouth whole. Two blue electrified tentacles dragged beneath its body used to perform hit and run tactics on larger, or attacks on larger, slower targets, subduing them over time. That's no good. That's us, that's the thing. It's, the one we saw was not quite this big, because we were maybe half the size of it, but still big enough. Big enough for it to attempt to eat us, which I don't like being eaten. What did we get? A new component. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Collects live specimens from the external environment. Yeah. Don't really need it. All right. Um, do we want to go? Let's see. 
so where would that be if that is more south? Is it southeast? Somewhere here-ish. We should also check this out. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's try going for that thing. Let's try going for that. Let's take our little sea truck and at least until it runs out of juice. Or blows up. Um, where is... Delta Station? Well, let's try going here first. I'm fine with the speedier one. I don't know if turning off the lights would, like, really conserves battery. I don't know. How much air can we get in this thing? Um, you know, a little bit. There's sea monkeys. Music is taking a menacing tone. The whole fish. Um, interesting. So how do we get down there? Do we have to go underwater here? Jack Bubby. Yeah, I don't know. I it probably is the answer. The answer is probably we have to go down. Where are you going? Don't freak out and definitely don't walk in front of the screen again like you're doing. Ugh, I figure it's probably in the... Oh, baby. You should have just... I was going to keep petting you occasionally. You're okay. It's like where we found the pustules, the root pustules. It's going to be under there. So we might be able to take the sea truck down a little bit. Well, there's another sea monkey nest. That's something. How far... It doesn't look like this goes anywhere. Let's, um... Propulsion cannon. All right. One out of two. Oh yeah, this doesn't go anywhere, but that does. You can see it. All right. You know, let's leave this on. So it's up and then southwest. Oh, Jack. Southwest, so oh this way. Right, so it is where those things are. The pustules. But it does look big enough that we can take the seat truck. A hey, hey fish. Oh Jack. What is that in the distance? That looks like metal. And Jack's walking in front of the monitor again. You silly cat. I do love you. I'm gonna maul your face right now. That's what you get! That's what you get, bitch! <laughs> uh, it's almost time to stop, Jack. This is all your fault. You you honestly can tell it's a good game. Um because I'm I'm sort of losing track of time. Or I'm I'm getting lost in it. Okay. Alright. What oh, Oh, here come crash fish. Don't. All right. Oh, yep. It hurt. It hurt a little bit. 
Alright, oh, that's a... oof. Alright, we are... Thankfully, some small collisions are okay. Ooh, do 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 do. What, what am I stuck on? That's no good. Alright. Uh, where... Where is this? There's the mark. Alright, where... Does it go this way? Only 88 meters. Yeah, I bet it's down there. Okay, well, let's check this out. I mean, maybe we could go for it from here, but I'd rather take the sea truck, to be honest, and probably... Let's repair it. It's a... Yep. Strange. It was at 94%. I guess it must have been the underside of... I'm just going really, really slow. Oof. Yeah, I think you're probably not supposed to drive here. You're probably supposed to... Alright, well, where... We could probably go there. I wonder if we could take the the sea truck. Okay, Jack's getting some food. That's good. I don't know if we could say take the sea truck down that hole. I don't know if we want to. Let's. The only other thought I have is that maybe the sea monkeys are friendly because I have the alien inside me. Okay, well this is definitely something. What you found is more than just an artifact. It will help me follow the traces my people left on this planet. I'm glad it could help. I know you would still prefer me to have a corporeal form of my own. Well, yes. If you continue searching, I may regain some of my connection to the network, piece by piece. Okay. Water analysis station. Okay. Thanks, little sea monkey guy. That's pretty awesome. Alright, inside. Back inside, then we'll review... Another... okay. How do your people communicate if you are not networked? What do you mean? We just talk to each other. Do you not find that primitive? We exist as data. We are all aware of each other's thoughts and needs. Scientific endeavors are accomplished much more smoothly this way. There's more to life than research, Alan. I can't lie. Work would go faster if I could read my colleagues' minds, but thoughts are private. And people have their own inner lives. People change and need space to think. Space helps you think. I find that being separated from my network is very quiet. What, what do you mean by quiet? Imagine a thousand strings, each playing its own range of notes. None louder than the others. Each one builds harmony. A continuous thrum in the background of existence. I am now a lone string in search of familiar harmonies. I'll help you find them. It's like you're used to playing in an orchestra, but now you're playing by yourself. So you can get sulfur from those things. Okay. Whoa, hang on. Hey, what's up, dude? You bringing this to me? You were awesome. Can I take this, or are you just gonna take it yourself? You want to give it to me? You may. If you don't, I'm not gonna take it out of your hands. The hell? What was that? What was that pooping sound? Oh. Oh, thanks, buddy. Well, thank you. I wish I could give them something, but I can't. All right, so. 
Uh, yeah, well, eek, eek, find out, <coughs> find out more about the water analysis station here in a bit. <coughs> we gotta get out of here first. Did I hit something? I hope not, but I bet I did. <coughs> Damn, excuse me. All right. Oh yeah, yeah, that thing. All right, well, let's go to Delta Station for a second. I hit the, I hit a fish. I feel bad about that. Although maybe that's a way of dealing with the whole fish. Just to track the symbiotes and then just ram them. Ramming speed! Nice! It got the frozen thing. First it freezes it and then it actually eats it. That's awesome. Um, let's go to Hand Base Alpha. We'll eat some mushrooms. Try and route around the... Uh... Yeah, that. Try and route around those a little bit. There's one of those things. They seem to be spreading out a little bit. Um, I wonder if it's kind of like the the stalkers in the original game. I think I think they fixed it, but when you hit them, they used to go to point zero. And so eventually, what would happen is, if you ever went by there, there'd be like a giant swarm of these freaking things whenever they take any sort of damage from anything. And so you'd go there and it would be like a giant swarm of stalkers. It was kind of unreal. All right, so we got crystalline sulfur, some copper, some titanium, a root pustule. Plant. Plant a few, and then. Welcome aboard, Captain. Consume. All oh, right, on. And then we're gonna toss basically all this other stuff in in here, and then I want to check out. Help me follow the traces my people left on this planet. I'm glad I could help. I know you'd still prefer me to have a corporeal form of my own. To continue searching, I may regain some of my connection to the network piece by piece. Yeah, I think the network is toast though, right? Tech, equipment, propulsion cannon. Uh, propulsion cannon allows technicians to manipulate gravitational forces at a range of up to 20 meters. It is commonly used in construction and mining to move materials. Operating instructions. Pull the trigger once to lock onto and attract a single targeted object weighing less than 25 kilograms. The object can now be safely retrieved from the gravitational beam. Alternatively, pull the trigger a second time to propel the object at speed away from the device. Not recommended on, for use on organic subjects. The prop cannon. Some species are telekinetic. For everyone else, there's Altera. Um, yeah, alien data. Water analysis station. This apparent research device seems built to determine the chemical components and properties of water samples. Possible applications. Testing for levels of carobacterium in the water. Spectroscopic analysis. Experimental application of light, heat, or chemical compounds via the, cyl via the cylindrical core at the center of the storage chamber. It's probably this one. I mean, if we actually use it. I don't think we're going to though. Um, hard to say. All right. Um, is it empty? Yes, it is. Well, okay, we'll uh, 
dump some of that into there. I don't know what it'll actually do. Aside from, you know, charge it a little bit more, but, you know. Alright. Drink some water. Where do we want to go now? Um, let's go to the... We could go there, but I want to see if we can go to the southern dock. Or delta station. And then maybe just to the right. Because there's that whatever thing just on the other side of the island. Hopefully with this, the sea truck, we can at least outrun some of these dudes. Okay, rock puncher. Huh. Yeah, I don't want to go too far down there. And I don't know where this thing is or how far it is or where I can find it. I was hoping it would be pretty big to the point where you could see it, but I... I don't know. Oh, what's up, dudes? How about, uh... You know... How about you just ignore me for a little bit, right? Oh my gosh! You're ugly! Yeah... Leave me alone! Okay, I mean, I don't... Nothing is just jumping out. We probably need... We're heading northwest again. I don't know. Oh, sorry. I hit the, the thing. Let's see if we can get the fish at least and we can... All right, so I am now actually a bit more west of the dock. Did I? Oh, oh, sea monkey. What's up? What is that? You want to bring me something? You want to bring me that? That's cool. Let's pull up the map real fast. Okay. So we're probably... Ports? Yeah, thank thanks, buddy. It even did a little thing. Oh, it's adorable. Don't eat me, okay? Don't, don't turn on me later. So I, I might... Like I'm... If I was north... I'm not sure if they attack me while I'm in the thing, which is interesting. I'm like west of that, so maybe I need to go more south, if that makes any kind of sense. All right, we have, we have a landmass or giant iceberg or something. Let's maybe try going up. I don't, I mean, you know, I don't know if this is on the map. Uh, it doesn't really help, actually. Wait, what was that? Uh, definitely an island of some kind. So this is probably it, right? Which means we might need to go east. We're gonna go over an hour, a little bit. Uh... Maybe this thing is like super deep. Uh, wait, there is something down here. There... 
We found it. All right, well, uh, we're almost at the depth, and I don't know if we can pull the thing through there anyway. Next time we'll explore this place. Maybe. We probably need a better tank. I don't know how much we'll be able to explore. Let's, uh, let's, let's pull this thing down to the bottom. Maybe there's nothing in there either. See, now I have to keep playing. Is this gonna screw the game if I if I save right there? Ugh, it pinches my head. These headphones sometimes. All right, guys. Well, that's it. That's it for today. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. I really do appreciate it. That's kind of a cliffhanger, I know, but it's a cliffhanger for me too. I'm not as cool as H.C. Bailey. I can't be like, will we find something something in whatever the lollipop station? I don't know. Next time on Let's Play Subnautica Below Zero. I like H.C. Bailey, even though he's a huge dork. I am too, though. We dorks, we know each other. We know our own kind. Anyway, uh, that's it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. I really do appreciate it. really hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. Um, what is your guys' unique positive moment for today? Uh, for me, it's actually... Um, man, I hope I didn't use this one already, but I made... Uh, I cut up some tomatoes, and I was testing the balsamic vinaigrette on them because I wanted to do, like, a caprese salad or caprese salad or however you pronounce it. Um... Balsamic vinaigrette goes really well on tomatoes. Really surprised. They kind of... Really well. I just don't know. I don't know. Uh, but that's my unique positive moment. Hopefully your guys is just as good, if not better. Hopefully better, of course. And I hope to see you guys next time. Till then, guys. Take care.